Hey, welcome to Coffee, 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 your place for average Joe coffee reviews. Today's coffee comes from Paradise. So today we are reviewing Kauai Coffee's Kaloa Estate Dark Roast. That's a lot of words. It is a lot of words. A lot of Hawaiian sounding words. Yes. But. Estate. <laughs> So it's 100% premium Arabica coffee. Uh-huh. Uh, it's supposed to have bold, rich flavor and subtle cocoa notes. Hmm. So, yeah, uh, a little bit about the uh, company. They. Compania. <laughs> the, it's Hawaiian for company. No, it's not. Uh, Kaloa Estate is where they grow uh-huh. the coffee. It's grown in rich volcanic soil, uh-huh. touched by abundant mountain rain. And warmed the, by the Pacific sun. Very nice. And also, Explosive. it's cooled by the gentle Hawaiian trade winds. They get some marketing. Their marketing stuff going department on, does a good job. Yeah, and actually, they had some interesting stuff. Like mm-hmm. they um, they tried to practice sustainable farming. Right. Um, then they gave up. Oh. No, <laughs> no, no. They try. Like so, okay. in other words, like drip irrigation, which is really right. environmentally friendly, and uh, they use hydroelectricity. Ah. One of the bullet points just says farming, which I don't think is <laughs> very, like, yeah, uh, yeah. So I don't you, know. You maybe, have to farm it. Yeah, yeah, maybe they meant something else. But anyway, the point is, good marketing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so. Well, that coffee was uh, five buck seventy nine. What? For five bucks seventy nine for uh, a ten ounce bag, uh, which is a little over nine bucks a pound. Yeah, so you know, not on the cheaper end. No, not on the more expensive end. Just kind no. of the middle yeah. of the road. Middle of the road, but below the equator. Right. Right. So, this coffee I like a lot. Mm-hmm. I think this is the first time we've done any Kauai yeah. coffee. So, um, but we got it in Publix. So. Yep. So, I would say roasty. Certainly. It said subtle cocoa notes. I don't get that. Mm -mm. Maybe it's so subtle that my palate just can't taste it, but... I don't know what cocoa sounds like. I don't hear anything. Okay. So, anyway, other other flavors do you taste? Not really. I thought thought there might have been a little bit of a... um, Something sweet... But it might just be the sugar that I have in there. Yeah. The sugar. yeah. Sometimes, I, sometimes I get like a, a, a fruity or something, but it's it's not really there. Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. I would say it's kind of bold and rich. Like the the bag did say, I think bold and rich, and I would say definitely on the rich. Mm-hmm. Bold ish. Right. That's what I would say. Yeah. Um, would we buy it again? Oh I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. I would yeah. give it what like three and a half. Three and a half, don't know. I'll concur. Yeah, no, what, I thought wait, so. Wh- I thought, I thought at least three and a half. So yeah. Were yeah. you wanting to go higher? No, I think three and a half is good because it's like it's not as bold right. really as right. the, or, or, you know. There's not as much punch. Right. There. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Well, thanks for joining us. If you've ever had any other Hawaiian coffees at all, let us know uh, what you thought of them and uh, what kinds you liked and disliked. And we'll look and see if we can find them and and do a review there. Uh, And again, thanks for joining us. And until next time, keep grinding. Hey, thanks for watching our reviews. Please be sure to subscribe and check out our other reviews here.